Guess who's destroyed her only SD card? It's pronounced Leela! It hasn't been in my computer for a couple days, but when I plugged it into my camera, it said it couldn't be read. When I plugged it into my laptop, it didn't show up. Over the past week or so, when I plug it in, after about 30 seconds, it's become so hot that I cannot touch it, otherwise I'd burn myself. Ishtuft. This week you're just gonna have to make do with a webcam video, because that's all I've got to work with. Yay. So this week I want to talk about a huge decision and how immensely I am struggling with it. I've spent the past year living in Auckland as an interpreting student. Love the course. We'll forget about the other ones that were horrid and a terrible expensive waste of my time. But the sign language papers are brilliant. Now it is the summer holidays and I'm back home in Wellington, which I love. I felt like no time had passed and everyone was so excited to see me. It was so good. Ah. So my lease on my Auckland apartment is coming up to be renewed soon and I have to make the decision by December 9th whether or not I'm going to move back to Auckland again and spend another two years on my degree. Why is this such a big decision you ask? Isn't this the thing you were planning to do anyway? Well, I mean, kind of. I really don't want to spend another year in Auckland because it's Auckland and I can't stand it. I'm going to do what How I Met Your Mother taught me. Make a pros and cons list, starting with Auckland. On the pros, we have getting closer to finishing my interpreting degree, not having to move all my stuff back down to Wellington, not having to go house hunting in Wellington. I think that about sums up the pros. On the cons, we have living at the other end of the country from my family, living at the other end of the country from my boyfriend, living at the other end of the country from 99% of my friends, putting my burlesque career on hold for another year, putting my whole life on hold for another year, saying goodbye to the potential of doing anything creative job-wise for another year, having more panic attacks in one year than I have the rest of my life. Spending more money on flights in one year than I have the rest of my life. Having to deal with being in a long distance relationship. Its own set of struggles completely apart from everything else. Acknowledging the fact that we came close to breaking up several times this year. Having the prospect of that happening again for a whole nother year. And then another year after that. Going upwards of $20,000 more into debt than I already am on my student loans. Now for Wellington. On the con side, dropping out of my degree. Having to move all my stuff back down to Wellington. Having to go house hunting in Wellington. Having to tell everybody that I gave up on my degree because I couldn't stand living in Auckland. Potentially losing a source of income because I won't be on the student allowance anymore. But then on the pros. Being in the same city as my friends, my family, my boyfriend, all of my burlesque peers, all the people I actually started doing sign language with. Being in probably the most creative city in New Zealand. Open to debate on that if you think your city has a more creative atmosphere. Getting involved in the burlesque scene again. I now have a job here. Admittedly, only a casual relievers position, but still a job. I got success from the first interview I went to. In the whole year that I was in Auckland, I applied for more jobs than I can remember, had one interview, and nothing but rejection. I have a wider base of people to collaborate with for YouTube stuff. I can go for driving lessons with my dad because he actually works in the same city. I can afford to buy more than just frozen vegetables and mints for food each week. It won't cost me $10 return to bus wherever I'm going because I can walk almost all of the places I'm going. <sighs> Essentially, it comes down to, do I go back to Auckland, put my life on hold for another two years, to earn a degree, to work in a job that may or may not give me a comfortable living? The city where none of my friends live, my boyfriend is at the other end of the country, my family is at the other end of the country. I saved a lot of money because I wasn't spending any money on going out with friends. Because I didn't have any friends. Or do I come back to Wellington? All of my friends and my community where I have a job and where there's a much better potential of getting another better job but give up for now the potential of having an interpreter's degree. I don't know what to do. I have until the 9th of December to decide because I need to give three weeks notice if I'm not intending to renew the lease on my apartment. <sighs> It hurts my brain. I know which choice I would like to make, where I want to spend the next two years of my life, whether or not that is the right decision. I talked it out with my aunt today, which made me briefly feel better about it, but didn't bring me any closer to any sort of conclusion. <sighs> if only making stupid faces on the internet solved all my problems. What do you think? Maybe I'll just run away with Dr. Hooves. Isn't he the cutest? He's so snuggly.